Hi everyone, welcome back. We continue on this list and today we are going to learn about contour area. This calculates a contour area. So the, first of all, this contour you are giving as input should be closed and closed contour. Otherwise, it will give you if the contour is open, it will give you the result as zero. And the other uh, warning is the function will most certainly give a wrong results for contour with self intersections. So first of all, we need to be careful about input. It is it should be closed and it shouldn't be self intersection contour or point array. We can say. And the second parameter is not really important. You can leave it as default. And the first one can be in the vector type or mat type. You can give both of them as input. Then let's pass to the code part and see the results. First of all, we need to create a contour array. I mean point array as contour. So this is gonna I'm gonna choose the vector type and it will carry point parameters and I'm gonna call it C1 contour1. And let's first of all define a contour which we already know the area. So we can create simply a rectangle and let's start from 200 to 200 coordinate and uh, the first one x axis and the second one is y axis so let's try 300 for example to 400 no again 200 the right corner of the rectangle and the next one is gonna be the again 300 to 400 and the last corner of my rectangle is gonna be 200 to 400 and okay uh, for example other parts is first of all maybe we can draw this rectangle to be able to see it's correct or not and what else first of all we need to give our image input then the point is gonna be c1 it's a close contour and the color is gonna be yellow color and the thickness is 3 let's see the result okay this is a rectangle it's already drawn so we already know the area of this rectangle how we are knowing its width is uh, 100 and its height is 200 so it's actually 100 times 200 is actually this much area inside and let's try to calculate it is correct or not with the uh, CV contour area. Okay, and I'm gonna give the C1. The second parameter can be leave as empty, the default one. And the, you can check this result is totally same, which we already found. Yeah, so it's calculating in this way. So to be able to uh, sure, maybe we can make it a triangle. So it's gonna be now double of it. I mean half of it. You can see because uh, the triangle, half triangle, uh, is the half of the rectangle. And this is also another result. But uh, maybe if you make in this way, which is the inter self intersection. For example this one it is gonna give you the result zero this is the first thing we need to know and if this is an open contour for example if just a line or a curve it's gonna also give you zero results and in this video I simply wanted to show you how it works and see you in the next videos